Think you know American pickup trucks? Let's take a journey through automotive history to uncover some of the most unique and rare American pickups ever made. From groundbreaking designs that reshaped the market to hidden treasures waiting to be discovered, these trucks showcase the best in innovation, style and performance. We've curated a list of the 15 rarest American pickups, each with a fascinating story and unique features. So grab a snack and let's dive in. The 1955-1958 Chevrolet Cameo revolutionised the pickup truck market by introducing the fleet side truck bed, a significant departure from the traditional step side design. The fleet side bed offered a more streamlined and elegant appearance, seamlessly integrating with the cabin lines and maximising bed width for greater cargo capacity. This innovative design was not just about aesthetics, it also enhanced the truck's functionality by allowing for the transportation of wider loads. Under the hood, the Cameo was equipped with a powerful V8 engine, delivering impressive performance for its time. The truck also featured advanced amenities, setting a new standard for comfort and convenience in pickup trucks. Despite its short production run, the Cameo's influence endured, paving the way for the modern pickup truck design. Its blend of style, power and practicality makes it a highly sought after collectible among vintage truck enthusiasts today. The Dodge D50, later known as the Ram 50, was a compact pickup truck made from 1979 to 1993 through a collaboration between Mitsubishi Motors and Chrysler. This truck was built to offer off-road capabilities while being compact and affordable. It came with different bed lengths and multiple engine options, including a turbo diesel that was both fuel efficient and powerful. The Power Ram 50 variant added four-wheel drive, making it great for off-road adventures. Over the years, the D50 Ram 50 got design updates and new features, staying competitive in the compact truck market. Today, only a few of these trucks are left, mostly owned by collectors who value their unique place in automotive history. Produced from 1961 to 1965, the Chevrolet Corvair Greenbrier was a standout in the world of compact pickup trucks. Built on the Corvair platform, it featured a rear-mounted air-cooled flat-six engine, an unusual layout for American vehicles of the time. This design offered a low centre of gravity and a spacious, versatile interior. The Greenbrier could carry up to nine passengers or half a tonne of cargo, making it a practical choice for families and businesses. The rampside version had a side ramp for easy loading and unloading. Despite its early popularity, the Greenbrier faced tough competition from more traditional vans and was discontinued after a few years. Today, it's appreciated for its unique design and engineering and holds a special place among classic car collectors and Corvair fans. Made from 1937 to 1939, the Studebaker Coupe Express was a trailblazer, blending the features of a coupe and a pickup truck. This design offered the comfort and style of a passenger car with the utility of a truck. Built on the Studebaker Dictator's chassis, it shared many parts with the sedan and featured distinctive Art Deco styling, thanks to industrial designer Raymond Lowy and artist Helen Dryden. Powered by a 3,600cc inline six engine with 90 horsepower, the Coupe Express was both stylish and capable. With around 5,700 units produced, its short production run didn't stop it from leaving a lasting impact. Today, collectors highly prized it for its unique design and historical significance, with well-preserved models fetching high prices at auctions. The GMC Indy 500 official truck, 
is a special edition made to celebrate GMC's role in the famous Indy 500 race during the 1970s. These trucks were easily identifiable by their white and gold decor packages with later versions featuring Eagle graphics on the hood and sides. In 1977, GMC marked the 61st annual Indy 500 by releasing 500 replicas of the official support truck. Available in both fender side and wide side body styles, these trucks had options for different bed lengths. The black and white paint with red pinstriping and Indy 500 decals made these trucks a collector's dream. Over the years, GMC released other special editions for the Indy 500, each becoming rarer and more sought after. Today, these trucks are celebrated for their unique styling and connection to one of America's most famous races. Produced from 1957 to 1959, the Dodge D100 swept side is a classic example of mid-century automotive creativity. This truck featured rear fenders and bumpers from a 1957 Dodge two-door station wagon, giving it a unique look. The swept side had wood cargo bed, four-wheel covers and two-tone paint, adding to its visual appeal. Buyers could choose between a 120 horsepower inline six engine or a 204 horsepower V8, both with a three-speed push-button transmission. Despite its striking design and powerful engine options, the swept side was expensive to produce, leading to limited sales and production. Today, fewer than 200 of the 1957 models are believed to exist, making the swept side one of the rarest and most collectible pickups. From 1964 to 1966, Dodge offered the D-Series High Performance Package, bringing serious power to their pickup lineup. At its heart was the 426 Wedge V8 engine, cranking out 375 horsepower, the most powerful engine in a pickup truck at that time. This package wasn't just about power. It came with the interior upgrades like bucket seats, a 6,000 rev per minute tachometer, and a sporty racing stripe for an aggressive look. The suspension was also upgraded to handle the extra power. Due to its high price, only about 50 of these trucks were made. Today, just 31 are known to exist, making them a rare and highly sought after collector's item. The Ford Ranger Sky Ranger, produced around 1991, is a rare and unique take on the Ford Ranger STX. This model featured a convertible design with a durable cloth top and a stylish sports bar, combining the practicality of a pickup with the fun of an open-air drive. Built by professional auto crafters in Michigan, the Sky Ranger came with a 4-litre V6 engine, offering a good mix of power and performance. Only about 14 to 17 units were ever made, making it one of the rarest Ford trucks. Its unique features and the novelty of a convertible pickup made the Sky Ranger a prized collectible today. Produced from 1939 to 1947, the Hudson Big Boy pickup blended the comfort of a sedan with the utility of a pickup. Designed by Betty Thatcher Oros, America's first female automotive designer, it featured a 212 cubic inch straight six engine known for its reliability and performance. The big boy had an innovative Autopoise front wheel control suspension for enhanced stability and comfort. It could handle both personal and commercial use, carrying significant payloads while ensuring a smooth ride. With dual automatic brakes combining hydraulic and mechanical systems, it was also ahead in safety. Despite its advanced features, production numbers were low, making it a rare and highly valued collectible today. The Studebaker Champ, produced from 1960 to 1964, was a standout during a tough time for Studebaker. Using parts from the Studebaker Lark, the Champ was one of the first to offer car-like comfort in a pickup truck. 
It introduced several innovative features, including the first sliding rear window, a feature that became common in later pickups. Engine options ranged from a 170 cubic inch inline six to more powerful V8s, catering to various needs. Despite its innovations, the Champ had quality issues and limited production numbers, peaking at just over 7,000 units in its best year. Today, few remain, making them highly prized by collectors. The Dodge Rampage, made from 1982 to 1984, was Chrysler's experiment in blending a compact car's agility with a small truck's utility. With a 2.2-litre engine, it offered practical performance for light hauling and daily driving. Its design, borrowed from Dodge's car lineup, providing a comfortable and familiar driving experience. Although it had a short production run, the Rampage has a cult following among retro vehicle enthusiasts. Its ability to swap parts with other Dodge models of the era makes it popular for restoration projects, keeping the Dodge Rampage's legacy alive. The Jeep Comanche, produced from 1986 to 1992, was based on the popular Cherokee platform. Known for its robust design, the Comanche featured a quadralink front suspension for superior ride comfort and off-road capability. Engine options included a 2.5-litre four-cylinder, a 2.8-litre V6, and the well-regarded four-litre inline-six, known for performance and reliability. Despite its strengths, it faced stiff competition from the Dodge Dakota, leading to its discontinuation. Today, the Jeep Comanche is beloved by enthusiasts for its ruggedness and unique blend of pickup utility and off-road prowess. The Ford Ranger GT, available in 1987 and 1989, was a sporty and unique variant in the Ranger lineup. It featured a 2.9-litre Cologne V6 engine delivering strong performance. The GT package included a five-speed manual or automatic transmission, front and rear sway bars, and a traction lock differential for improved handling. The exterior had 14 by six aluminium wheels and Goodyear Eagle tires, giving it an aggressive stance. Inside, it had special bucket seats, a comprehensive instrument cluster, and optional amenities like a center console, tilt wheel, cruise control, and power windows and locks. These features make the Ford Ranger GT a rare and cherished collectible. The GMC Bo James, a special edition truck from 1975, combined luxury and style in the pickup segment. It had a distinctive blue and silver color scheme and was limited to just 4,000 units. Buyers could choose between a 350 cubic inch engine or a more powerful 454 cubic inch unit. The interior featured plush velour seats and a two-piece tonneau cover, emphasizing luxury. The suspension was tuned for a softer ride. Today, the GMC Bo James is a collector's item, valued for its luxury features and limited production. The Chevy S10 Baja, produced between 1988 and 1991, was designed for off-road enthusiasts. It featured a roll bar, off-road lights, and a distinctive grill guard with fog lights, giving it a tough, adventurous look. The Baja package also included tubular rear bumpers and underbody shields for rough terrains. Available in colors like midnight black, apple red, and frost white, with unique Baja decals, it stood out from standard S10 models. The 1991 models had special seats with Baja stitching and red door trims, enhancing the sporty feel. Despite its capabilities, the S10 Baja didn't gain widespread popularity, making it a hidden gem today. So what do you think about these incredible pickups? Which one is your favorite rare gem? Comment below and let us know. If you enjoyed this journey through automotive history, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating content like this. Until next time, keep exploring and appreciating these classic treasures.